Okay, for those who don't know, Meghan Markle's half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr., is going to be on Big Brother Australia VIP. And um, let's have a look. He's, he's uh, basically uh, revealed a bombshell about Meghan Markle here, his half-sister. So let's have a look. This is a new ad that just came out tonight for uh, Big Brother VIP. In my hotel, I see and hear everything. And you so basically, they're going to be in a hotel this time, not a house. So that's the first change. And uh, we've got some really interesting contestants. I'll, I'll dig into uh, some of the contestants as we go along, and then we'll reveal what uh, Thomas Markle Jr. has said about Meghan. Here. Everything. And you work for Bill Clinton. It wasn't just Monica. There was a whole line of women. Oh, so this is going to be interesting. Amorosa. So Amorosa, as you know, used to be on uh, The Apprentice when Donald Trump was hosting it, and she won it, and then worked with Donald Trump, and they, you know, they had a falling out. So I didn't realize she worked for Bill Clinton as well, and said there was a ton of women. So that's very interesting as well. It's going to be a lot of lot of stuff coming out in this series, I, I suspect. So what was Trump like? Insane. And boy, <laughs> did she blow it. <gasps> so basically, uh, Caitlyn Jenner is saying that Amarosa blew it. She blew it. And this is the reason why. People that worked at the White House are all working on my campaign. I know every little secret. So that's very interesting. So as you, as you might not know, the... Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, she's going to uh, she's going to go for the governor of uh, California. And I found this article; it's so interesting. How how like politics trumps everything? It trumps you know the whole uh, identity politics because uh, it says why Republican trans candidate is good for trans people. So basically, because they're saying that um, if Caitlyn Jenner were running. For governor of California's Democrat should be universally uh, seen as a historic figure, regardless of her chances of winning the recall race to replace California Governor Gavin Newsom. Jenner is our highest profile trans figure in national politics right now, and her representation matters for a group that is still vastly misunderstood by Americans. So, this is <laughs> check this out. This is from uh, trans advocate Charlotte Clymer tweeted. Caitlyn Jenner is a deeply unqualified hack who doesn't care about anyone but herself. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? So if she was a Democrat, ah, oh, they would have been on board. It would have been um, like they would have thought she was so amazing. But since she's uh, running as a Republican, they hate her. How crazy is that? It's all got to do with power, doesn't it? It's got nothing to do with. Uh, Gender, gender equality or rights or trans rights or anything. It's just all about power. Let's have a look what's next, what's coming up. If she takes me out, then she wins points with Donald Trump. There's no question in my mind he's watching. And he's watching what she does. So, yeah, that's going to be so cool because Amorosa thinks that Caitlin's going to try and get her kicked out of the house, basically. And then it's going to be points for Donald Trump. So it's going to be... Hell of a, who would have thought a rivalry between Emma Rosa and Caitlyn Jenner? It was even weirder when I had Shane Warne in my inbox the other week. So basically, that's Jessica, Jessica Powell, Power, and uh, she used to she says reality TV star. She was on this show called Maths, which is like Married at First Sight, and uh, basically, she's just a uh, you know reality star, and uh, people inbox her all the time, so. Shane Warne, the famous cricketer, Australian cricketer, inbox Jessica Power. I didn't know this. Box the other week. Oh, he's a freak. Some of the <laughs> things you're sending me, I was like, inappropriate. <gasps> there is nowhere to hide in my hotel. Is Megan Markle your sister or half sister? Half sister. Half sister. The guy that she Here was married to the first time, she just walked all over him and dumped him. This guy that is married. That's I'm I'm assuming this is the one that uh, the producer who basically uh, she sent the rings back in a like a FedEx box. And listen to what he says next. That's cold blooded. That's stone cold. Harry's on the chopping block next. 
Harry's on the chopping block next. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm guessing that Thomas Markle does not think their marriage is going to last. Personally, I think it's going to last as long as Megan's getting something out of it and she's getting a lot out of it now. So they're going to stay married. That's the way I see it. As soon as uh, she gets a better offer or uh, he becomes expendable and, and not, not advancing her uh, in any way, he's, she'll get rid of him. I'm going to write a letter to Megan. Do it, do it. Dear Megan and Harry, the first thing I want to say to both of you. Don't know what's in the letter. In my hotel. This is going to be so IDs good. These will reveal things they never have before. This is Big Brother. Welcome to my hotel. That is going to be amazing. I'm telling you, that is just going to be incredible. So... For everyone overseas, I suggest maybe you get a VPN and uh, log in to 7 Plus. It's a website called 7 Plus in Australia. I'll see if I can get it up. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and you can get all the uh, get all the show from there. I'll try and do a little bit on it because, yeah, there'll be copyright issues and so forth. So I'd rather you just watch it and we sort of discuss things than me trying to get too much on there so uh, here we go let's get the uh, get the preview window up so this is uh what's going on here browser here we go there's seven plus there and uh that should work if you've got a vpn definitely work in australia so it's got all the shows there sas australia that was so good i'm hooked i was hooked on sas australia and uh yeah heaps of shows there you can watch as well so um that would be the best way to watch it because it's going to be a doozy. I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be November, they're saying. November, so what are we, middle of October now. So we've got maybe six six to eight, six to weeks maximum before uh, it starts. If it's the beginning of November, it's only like two and a half weeks, isn't it? So that'll be good. So don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. It's going to be a brilliant show. I hope you're going to watch it with me too. See ya. Cheers.